Hi everyone! Welcome to Soup Top Recipes. Today we are making Hong Kong style omelet over rice, also known as egg fu yun. It is the transliteration of the Hong Kong pronunciation of fu yun dan. This recipe is super easy. Will only take you less than ten minutes. Let's get started. As you can see, the ingredients are simple. I've got here some bean sprout and a couple of garlic chives. I'm going to cut them into one inch long pieces. Locals will use yellow chives, which are the same plant but grown without the sun to suppress the synthetic chlorophyll. Yellow chives taste sweeter and milder, which are friendly for the people who don't like the smell of the garlic chive. However, it's not easy to buy yellow chives in the USA. That's why I'm using the green ones. If you don't have it, you can use green onion or cilantro. Here is some char siu, which I have julienne. It is also known as Chinese barbecue pork, and it's so popular in Hong Kong that you can just buy them on any street. People like to use it as an ingredient to make all kinds of recipes, such as char siu fried rice. Char siu chow mein and char siu noodle soup. If you're not living in Hong Kong, you just have to make it yourself. I do have a recipe. You can click here to learn how to make it. If you don't want to make it, that's all right. You can just use your favorite leftover barbecue meat. Some peeled and deveined shrimp. For egg fu yun, I do prefer to use smaller shrimps so they can be evenly distributed here and there. These are pretty big size. That's why I'm butterflying them into two pieces. Okay, we have everything ready. Let's cook. Heat your wok until smoking hot. Add a teaspoon of oil and swirl it around to cover the bottom. Throw in the shrimp. The wok is so hot that you only need to stir them for fifteen seconds. Tossing the bean sprout. Stir for another fifteen seconds to remove the beany taste. Take everything out and let them cool. In a separated bowl, add two teaspoons of cornstarch, one tablespoon of water, a quarter teaspoon of salt, and some white pepper to taste. Stir until well combined. Then crack in two eggs. Beat them well until you don't see any obvious egg white. Continue by adding the pre-cooked shrimp, bean sprout, garlic chives, and the char siu. Mix thoroughly. You can also use mushroom slices, julienne cabbage, or carrot instead. Heat your wok again until it is smoking hot. Add a few tablespoons of oil. Swirl it around to cover the bottom. I know it looks like a lot of oil, but that is how you get the omelet golden and crispy on the outside. Switch the heat to medium. Add the egg mixture. Spread out the ingredients a little bit. Let it fry on one side for a minute or two. Shake your wok, and you will see that the omelet is releasing itself from the bottom. This is why I love using carbon steel wok to make eggs. It just slides around smoothly. Flip it over to fry the other side. Some of you may think this is overcooked. Nope. We love our eggs to be crispy and toasty. This is like the biggest difference compared to Western omelet. Of course. If you like yours to be soft and tender, you can fry it over low heat and don't make it crispy. Serve it over white rice. Top with some cilantro as garnish. If you order this in Hong Kong, it usually comes with a small dip of sweet soy sauce, which goes perfect with this omelet. If you don't have sweet soy sauce, you can just dissolve half teaspoon of brown sugar with one and a half tablespoon of regular soy sauce. This is a classic combination in Cha Tan Tan, a type of Hong Kong style cafe restaurant. Since it is so hard to travel these days, 
I hope you give this a try soon and get a little taste of Hong Kong cuisine. As always, you can click the link in the description and find the printable recipe. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. It really encourages me to continue making great recipes. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!